Recapping our leading stories this hour, the organization Undoing Tax Abuse Alta has welcomed the National Prosecuting Authority's decision to prosecute Jacob Zuma on charges of corruption, fraud and racketeering. In pay head, Sean Abrams announced the decision in Pretoria yesterday. He told the media that this announcement was done after considering a report by a team of prosecutors who were studying a former president Jacob Zuma's representations as to why he should not be prosecuted. The charges against Zuma were dropped in 2009 by then acting NPA head Mukutedi Mshe, citing manipulation of prosecutorial processes by senior prosecutors. Civil society organization CASAC says the prosecution of the former president is long overdue. Government officials say President Cyril Ramaphosa will use his courtesy call in Mozambique to strengthen existing political and economic relations between the two countries. The president will hold a bilateral meeting with his Mozambican counterpart, Felipe Nusi, in Maputo later this morning. He then travels to Zimbabwe this afternoon. This is part of Ramaphosa's whirlwind tour of some of the SADC countries since becoming president last month. He started in Angola followed by Namibia and then Botswana. In the world of sports, sprinter Clarence Munyai is the new men's 200-meter South African record holder. The 20-year-old clocked in 19.69 seconds and winning his uh, semi-final at the South African Senior Athletics Championships at the University of Pretoria. He beat the previous record held by world 400-meter record holder Wait van Niekerk by 0.15 seconds. In doing so, he has also become the 10th fastest man ever over 200 meters in the world. Редактор